Chapter 3 Working with Queries, Forms and Report Learning Outcomes At the end of this chapter, students will be able to Learn the importance of queries, forms and reports in Access 2016 Create forms, queries and reports in Access 2016 Warm up Fill the following application form Teachers note a prize student that forms help an individual or organization to get detailed information about a person, event or an object. Hello friends, let us learn to create forms, queries and reports. A form is a device for gathering data in a sequential style. Frequently, whoever creates the form has all the necessary fields for required data. Forms actually make the process of entering data a lot convenient and simple. Form make sure that proper data is entered into the table in the proper format. We should be aware that the form is related to the table. This implies that the values entered into a form are kept in a table. Let's learn to create form in Access. The presence of an operational database and a table is one of the requirements for building a form in Access. If a database or table is not present, we can first construct one. Once our database and tables are available, you can create a form by following the instructions below. Let me answer. Have you ever filled in any form? Steps 1. From the navigation pane, choose the table. 2. Click the form button in the form group after selecting the creating tab from the ribbon. 3. A new form has been created. Notice how the ribbons option have changed and how the design tab is now active. 4. Click the home tab and then view button displayed in the views group to input edit records in the form. Go to the drop down menu and choose form view. Update the value and then press the enter key to modify it. Open the form table using the navigation pane and look for any changes to see whether the value has changed. Record navigation bar. A form's record navigation bar is a crucial component. It facilitates the form navigation and value modification. Let's quickly comprehend how this bar functions. Formatting a form. Changing themes and fonts of a form. Follow the given step to change the theme of a form. Steps 1. In the navigation pane, click the name of the form. Launch the layout view and open the form. 2. Click on the theme button in the themes group. We can choose the theme we want from the drop-down list by selecting the colors and fonts button found in the themes group. We can also alter the themes, color and font. Inserting date and time to a form. Follow the given step to insert date and time to the form. Steps 1. In the layout view, open the form. 2. Select the date and time option in the header, footer group. 3. Choose the preferred date and time format from the date and time dialog box. 4. Click on the OK button to insert date and time. Arranging the order of the fields in the form. Click the Arrange tab in the MS Access ribbon to reorder the text fields of the form. To reorder the text fields in a form, use the set of options found under the Arrange tab. Adding background image to a form. Follow the given steps to add a background images to a form. Steps 1. In the layout view, open the form. 2. Select the background image option by clicking the format tab. 3. Select browse the dialog box window for inserting a picture will display. Do you know? Anchoring is a cool feature which gives you form a professional look. 4. Click the open button after choosing the image you wish to use a background image. Saving a form. Follow the given step to save a form. Steps 1. Click on the save button in the quick access toolbar to save a form. 2. In the save as dialog box, type the name in the form name text field and click on OK. Query in access 2016. 
In simple terms, a query is a simple question that you ask to find specific information from the database. Similarly, in Access, when you build a query, you are defining specific search conditions. You can use queries to view, change, summarize and analyze the specific data in different ways. Queries are made on tables and the results are displayed in the forms of a table which are composed of rows and columns and include the data that satisfy the criteria. In other words, a query is like a question you ask from a database and the database is reply written, the required records you have requested. In Access, a query can be created in two different ways. 1. Using Query Design 2. Using Query Wizard Let me answer. Does a sudden question appears on your screen when you enter a website sometimes? You can have more control over a query with the design view. You can build a query from scratch with it. Remember it. A query gives the user a custom view of the data. Tabs 1. On the ribbon, select the Create tab. Then in the Queries group, click the Query Design button. 2. The dialog box for the show table will appear. Choose a table from the list of table for your query. Depending on our needs, we can choose a single table or the number tables. 3. Click the Add button after choosing a query table from the show table dialog box. You will see the screen given below. 4. See how the object relationship pane display the fields from the selected tables. 5. A query is made up of one or more table fields. Drag and drop the field to the field property to add them to the query in the query design grid as shown below. 6. When your query is ready, click the run button in the results group on the design tab to see the query's result. The query's outcome will be displayed in the output window as seen below. Creating Query with Query Wizard A small built-in application called Wizard Ask user question and then we display a result based on their input. Steps 1. Select the Create tab. In the Queries group, click the Query Wizard button. 2. The new Query dialog box appears. By default, the simple Query Wizard option is chosen. Click OK to continue. 3. As illustrated below, the wizard will now ask us to choose the query table and the field inside it that we want to include in the query. 4. We will be asked to enter the query title in this final step. Additionally, we have the choice of the following two possibilities. Open the query to view information. Modify the query design. Open the query to view the results of the query. Select the second option if you wish to modify the query. 5. Click the Finish button after selecting the first choice. Reports in Access 2016 For viewing or printing, a report is a useful tool for organizing and summarizing data. A report can be created exactly the same as we have created the form. The only modification is that you now click on Report in the Reports group. After choosing the Create tab, let's learn to create reports in Access. Step 1. 1. After selecting the Create tab on the ribbon, go to the Reports group and select the Report button. 2. The Reports layout window displays a new report. Notice how the ribbons option have changed and how the four new tabs Design, Arrange, Format and Paste setup have been added to the ribbon. Saving a report. Follow the given step to save a report. Steps 1. Click on the Save button in the Quick Access Toolbar to save a report. 2. Type the desired form name in the Save As dialog box in the Report Name text field and click on OK. Get ZyQ. 50 records have been added to a database that Sanisha established for her classmates. She must display the statics for the kids who received less than a 35% grade. But the teacher's request give her some advice on how to apply this standard. Let's recall, a form is a device for gathering data in a sequential style. 
the presence of an operational database and the table is one of the requirement for building a form in access a query is a simple question that you ask to find specific information from the database a small built-in application called wizard asks user question and then displays a result based on their input a report is a useful tool for organizing and summarizing data which can be created exactly the same as we have created the form upskill your intelligence a fill in the blanks one a form is a device for gathering data in a dash style answer sequential two the dash is related to the table answer form 3 the presence of an dash database and the table is one of the requirement for building a form in access answer operational 4 choose the table from dash pane answer navigation 5 dash facilitates the form's navigation and value modifications answer a form's record navigation bar b write t for true statements and f for false statements 1 the arrange tab reorders the text field of the form answer true 2 save button is present on the file tab answer true 3 a query is a simple question that you ask to find specific information from a database answer true 4 queries are made on documents answer false Five. A report is a useful tool for organizing and summarizing data. Answer: True. C. Answer the following questions. One. What is a form? Answer: A form is a device for gathering data in a sequential style. Frequently, whoever creates the form has all the necessary fields for the required data. Two. In what way can you format a form? Answer. Ways to format a form: one, changing themes and fonts of a form; two, inserting date and time to a form; three, arranging the order of the fields in the form; four, adding a background image to a form; three, write the step to create a form. Answer: Steps to create a form: one, from the navigation pane, choose the table; two. click the form button in the form group after selecting the create tab from the ribbon 3 a new form has been created notice how the ribbons option have changed and how the design tab is now active 4 click the home tab and then the view button displayed in the view group to input or edit records in the form go to the drop down menu and choose form view Four. How can we create a query using the query wizard? Answer: Creating query with query wizard. One. Select the create tab in the queries group. Click the query wizard button. Two. The new query dialog box appears. By default, the simple query wizard option is chosen. Click OK to continue. Three. As illustrated below, the wizard will now ask us to choose the query table and the field inside it that we want to include in the query. Four. We will be asked to enter the query title in this final step. Five. What do you mean by reports in Access 2016? Answer. A report is a useful tool for organizing and summarizing data, which can be created exactly the same as we have created the form. A report can be created exactly the same as we have created the form. Critical thinking. Amazon has a huge database of employees and clients. The company wants to maintain the privacy of each employee and client. They have given the instruction to computer operators to update each record one at a time. Answer: Ask students to do it by themselves. Teamwork. Conduct a group discussions on the following topic: creating query using the query wizard versus creating query using the query design. Answer: Ask students to do it by themselves.